thought it was time for us to, to meet as stakeholders in the Vika Delta project. Uh, like we're all aware, we we're just starting the second tenor. The first tenor finished on the 29th of May, by the second tenor. And for almost six months, there was all political activities. But the political activities are over, and we are back to serious business. And the business we are in now is good for four years. But the way we want to move, we want to move, we want to move as if the four years is ended tomorrow. So a lot of things are going to happen in this period, and I thought what it was that I should uh, call all the biggest stakeholders, that is the bankers, uh, for us to rub minds on a few issues, discuss more things that have happened previously, look at what is on ground, and see what we can do together to move forward. As you all are aware, our overall goal is economic development, economic development to create employment for our jobless ones, especially our youth. Um, we have a three point agenda of visa security, infrastructure development, and human capital development. But for this second dispensation, our main focus is to do everything possible to create jobs for our youth. And so we are concentrating on completing some of the infrastructure that we have started, starting new ones, infrastructure that will attract investment, but in addition, infrastructure that will support our social programs in the area of education, in the area of health, in the area of microfinance. So in addition to the big infrastructures for which many of you have condemned us, like the airports and the roads, uh, we're also focusing in the area of education, trying to reconstruct our schools, build new ones, primary, secondary, and tertiary, and also facing the health sector. We are also going to uh, put in more funds in our microcredit program. The bottom line of this is that we shall be required, requiring a lot of finances. And then um, the way we have structured our finances is so that uh, we may need to partner with some of you to be able to raise funds. Uh, I'm sure many of you are aware that we already are trying to raise uh, funds for the bond market. The process is on. For those who are involved, we do hope you will help us to facilitate the process. We do hope you help us to facilitate um, the process of raising the funds from the bonds. Um, secondly, we are also, as a state, laying a lot of emphasis on our processes, processes that will ensure transparency, uh, processes that will minimize or totally reduce um, corruption. Uh, like I keep saying, Many of the accusations against corruption on, on corruption, many of the allegations, if they are true, the people do not do it, we can almost go back. Banks are involved. So we must all put our heads together to see how we can reduce whatever leakages we have in the system. And the first way or the first The first approach to that, so I'm happy that the AG is here. Um, from us here as a government, no account should be opened by any government agency, ministry, parastata, without authorization from the Accountant General. That instruction has been on and is supposed to be on, but I'm aware some accounts are opened without the knowledge of the Accountant General. Today is Thursday, Wednesday, I believe. Please, by Monday, um, every bank, whatever account that you hold, I need information of all our accounts in the state. 
every account that you have, whether from the ministry, from the director, um, between the AG and the chief of staff, and it will be exposed to the by Monday. If we do not get that information and we discover that we have an account, a government account, um, you will not just have problems with that account, but we may have problems with your bank. So please, whatever bank, whatever account you hold, uh, let us have information by Monday uh, next week.